Okay, here I go. Driving a car for the first time in, what, over five months? Hopefully it's like riding a bike and I don't forget how to drive. This is a little weird. Okay, I'm gonna go pick Hannah up from work. Here I go. Well, that was exciting. Okay, so I got my car over here. No big deal. Yeah, it's like riding a bike, you know, but I got all brave. You guys, I haven't been in any buildings yet. And I got all brave and I decided to go in and have a sandwich and I came out I couldn't find my car keys. And you know, if you've watched our videos before, that I am prone to dropping my car keys places. And I, you know, I think there's just too much going on in the noggin sometimes. And I think because it's the first time I went in, I had to deal with the mask, do all this stuff. Calling Joe twice, going back through the restaurant, asking everybody if they saw my keys. I figured I had to fill my drink. I know I locked my car on the way in. I had to pay with my credit card. And so I know I must have just set them down. No, they were in my hip pocket. The whole entire time the keys were in my hip pocket. I didn't even think I had a hip pocket in these pants today. It's okay, I'm gonna be fine. <laughs> But it's just, it goes to show you, you know, we take so much for granted. And I think that just the, the nerves, you know, I, there's a little bit of fear with the virus, okay? I'm, I'm struggling with some of this stuff. And, and I decided today that I was going to overcome my fear by going in. But I got to tell you, I mean, I go in, I comply, I put on the mask, I do the thing. But you know, everybody's using the same door handle. Everybody's using the same, with bare hands, they're using the same drink machine. Now granted, you know, we're supposed to be washing our hands and doing all that. But the girl, you know, she hands me my cup. I can't even get my own cup anymore. She hands me the cup. I, you know, you guys have done this. You all know. She takes my credit card. Like all those things, when you, when you touch things, isn't that how viruses are spread? I don't, you can't, you can't even say things today because if you do, then you just get canceled. And I don't want our YouTube channel to get canceled because we're a happy place and we're a positive place. And for the most part, we have a good time. But, you know, Mama Bear's struggling a little bit. I'm not going to lie about that. And I think that other people are too. But um, I may be just a little bit, you know, more than most. I'm, I'm going to get over it, you know, and I can't just keep having Joe do all the errands and everything. That's kind of bothering me a little bit too. I've got to kind of kick it up and do my part a little bit more it's all very overwhelming but it's okay I'm gonna go eat my sandwich and go pick Hannah up now I left early on purpose you know for a reason okay <laughs> oh gosh this is so good and then there's all the stress eating is anybody else going through all the stress eating Oh my goodness, it's, it does, um, it, what, what is up with that? It just makes you feel better about everything. But um, yeah, I'm going to enjoy my lunch. That's a Jersey Boy sub with a little, few extra condiments on there. I, we love this sub shop. They're so good. Anyway, going to go eat my lunch, okay? Oh man, this is so good, you guys. This is so good. Roast beef, turkey, lettuce, tomato, mayonnaise, onions. Oh my gosh, it's so fresh and it's so delicious. It's so good. That was delicious. I only ate half of it. Those subs are enormous. They charge just like a little bit extra to get the big one and the subs stay so nice that usually one of my kids will nab it for dinner or lunch the next day or something or else it'll be me the next day or Joe or somebody will end up eating it. But boy, was that good. It's funny how you... Um, you, you don't, you forget about the things that you do take for granted. That's what it, why you're taking it for granted, right? And it's like we don't have a great appreciation for things until they're, until they're gone, until we can't, we can't do it anymore. We can't, can't access it anymore. Be free, like humans are meant to be free, right? And I know myself, like when the kids went to school, I would really look forward. That was kind of my, how I 
that was my respite, right? From the break from my, you know, daily life and taking care of the kids and all that, which I dearly love. And that is my whole life's calling. And I wouldn't change anything for the world, but everybody needs a break now and then. And one of the things that I used to love to do is just to get in the car and drive somewhere and go out to lunch or go shopping or whatever. And, you know, I think that we haven't done that in a long time. And so we kind of had a little bit of this experience when Joe was out of work for um, a very long extended period of time, almost six years. And it was a lot like this lockdown and all that because we didn't have the money. We couldn't go anywhere or do anything. We were really stuck at home and had to be a lot more creative. And, you know, we survived that. That was like almost six years. And so... You know, I think we can manage to get through this too, but we do take so much for granted, I tell you, and you know, it's important to try to keep our businesses and, you know, in business and things. They're doing the best they can in there, and it's pretty busy actually. I'm surprised. I mean, it was kind of packed, and uh, which is a good thing, but. But just the act, honestly, of getting in the car and getting behind the wheel of a car and driving down the road, there's just such a, you know, a feeling of freedom there that um, I think I've been feeling a little bit like a, you know, I've been cooped up a little too long in that house, I think. And, you know, and it doesn't matter how nice your environment is, you still need to get out and get some fresh air once in a while. And so it's just there's just a lot going on you know we're all doing that you guys I know you all are doing it too there's so much with the schools and you know with everything that's going on in the world and then this virus and the fear and you know the concern that we have for uh, everyone you know and you know and on top of all that I'm engaged in a pretty extensive reno project and so the little details of all that are kind of taking up a lot of real estate too so you know it's understandable you know, why I kind of, you know, I don't know, lose it every once in a while, but I do, you know, I'm just human like everybody else, but I'm going to go get Hannah and uh, we're going to go home. So there you go. You guys let me know in the comments below if you're going through some of this stuff too, and we can chat about it at least in the comments, you know, and encourage one another. You all are awesome that way. Hannah's trying to find her way out the door. <laughs> Thanks, hey, Miss Hannah. Hello. How are you? Good. All right. Did you have a good day at work today? Oh, yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. All right. Well, shall we? I'm filming you. Yeah. Is that cool? Yeah, it is. Okay. <laughs> it's a rainy day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, Oh my goodness. Are you surprised to see mom instead of dad? Yeah, what the Yeah, he had some calls this afternoon. Oh, I see. So you get me instead, Hannah. Yeah. All right, climb aboard before we all get soaked. Oh. All right. Yep. There you go. You gonna sit up front or are you gonna sit back there? Right here. All right, that's fine. Yeah. Okie dokie. Yeah. There you are. Ta-da! Ta-da! It's the Hannah! <laughs> Yep. Fresh off of work. Yep. <laughs> All right. It is I, Hannah Storm. And it is raining up a storm, too. It's not too bad. It's just kind of a gentle rain, but yeah. it's just enough, right? Yeah, it is. Are you ready to go home? Yeah. Okay, me too. <laughs> I'm going to put this down and drive now. Okay. <laughs> okay? <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. We did it, Hannah. Yeah, you did. We made it home. <laughs> yep. Yep. Joel's coming over too to see us. He's probably um, gonna want the other half of my sandwich. What do you think? Uh, Who do you yeah. think's gonna get it? You think it's? I bet you either either Joel or Dad is gonna snag it. They're gonna fight over it. <laughs> what do you think? Probably Joel. <laughs> probably Dad. I don't know. <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> we'll find out. Yeah. All right. Let's go home. Okay. What in the world are you girls doing? Eating a delicious sandwich from Santini's. Can you tell me what it is and how we came to get that sandwich, Bethany? <laughs> it's a Jersey boy. Mom had one yesterday, <laughs> didn't I? Yep. She you. And I yeah, well, you got a little bit of a piece yesterday, and it was so good. We had an opportunity to go again today, and there we go. Dad was so nice; he got everybody one. How is it, Hannah? 
Oh my storms. That's what I said. Isn't that good? Mm-hmm. All right, you like that, Abby? Mm. Yeah. All right, good. I'm gonna let you girls eat your lunch. It looks so good. Mm. Oh, what a dad, huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Change.